Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Ryan Coleman. I'm the Director of Economic Development for the City of Columbia, and thank you very much uh, for joining us today as we celebrate the uh, grand rebranding and reopening of La Boheme down here in Five Points. It's my pleasure to welcome our uh, esteemed uh, guest speaker lineup today. Uh, first, we're going to have Miss Heather McDonald. She's director of Five Points Association, followed by the Honorable Mayor Daniel Rickman for the City of Columbia. And then finally, our uh, guest of honor, Miss Ema Thibodeau, the owner of La Boheme. With that, I'll turn it over to you. Hello, everyone. <laughs> On behalf of myself and the Five Points Association, Ema, I want to say congratulations and that we are grateful you have been and will continue to be a part of our special village. You and I have talked a lot about this journey for you. And so I'd like to pass along a simple quote today that I think is very fitting. And that is the best way to, excuse me, the best way to predict the future is to create it. You have certainly done that here, and I wish you much success and continued success in the days ahead. Well, it's a beautiful day in Columbia. Look, the sky opened up here, surrounded by all these uh, beautiful women behind us. But what's really exciting is, once again, woman-owned business in our city growing, rebranding, and making a, a difference. And we've had the pleasure of having so many businesses opened in our community um, by women. It, I think it's a real testimony to our community, but small business, backbone of our community. And that's how we built it. When you look around this village and you go up to Vine Street and you go down Main Street, you everywhere, what you see the majority of is small businesses sprinkled with some, some other ones, but really small, which is, is the backbone. And that's why we grow small businesses grow here they invest here and they give back here and they're part of our community and Ema I'm so excited for you and today as you get to you know we lost a bohemian now we got a new bohemian <laughs> which is really exciting for us but congratulations and all you ladies for being here and being part of it but you're the star so we want to bring you up and I'm prepared now you're prepared <laughs> Good afternoon. We are honored with the presence of our mayor and um, Mr. Brent. Mr. Brennan is not here. So Ryan Coleman, thank you so much for coming. In January, we closed the loved 70-year-old gift store, Gibson's. And in February, we opened La Boheme, which is one of my favorite Puccini operas. The concept of rebranding is a complex one. While we wanted to be and look fresh, colorful, and bohemian, at the same time, we wanted to keep the aspects of Gibson's that worked well for seven decades. We did not want to look traditional, but we did want to offer traditional customer service. Tradition comes from the Latin verb trado, I hand over. So we kept some traditional elements and we mixed them with our new bohemian items. We combined the old and the new by bringing ethnic pieces, for example, bohemian kimonos from Scotland, funky candles from South Africa, dolls from Ukraine, and trays from the Netherlands. But we kept the 250-year-old crane stationery, <laughs> which also prints the American dollar, 25% linen and 75% cotton, for your information. <laughs> and we kept the 2,000 greeting cards, and we kept the complimentary gift wrapping. Goodbye, Gibson girls. Hello, Bohemian babes. 